After discussing the topological constraints and the element constraints, let's focus on how to find the complex coefficient algebraic equations for the dynamic circuit without listing its differential equations. In order to analyze this dynamic circuit, we should apply KCL, KVL, and element constraints. Now we list equations. By applying KCL to this node, we know IL equals IC plus IR. By applying KVL to this loop, we know US equals L times DI over DT plus 1 over C times the integral of IC. In this loop, we know 1 over C times the integral of IC equals R times IR. These are all the equations we can get. By transforming these equations, we can get the differential equations of any branch variable and solve them afterwards. The phasor domain form of the whole circuit is like this. By applying KCL on this node again, we know phasor IL equals phasor IC plus phasor IR. By applying KVL to this loop again, we know that phasor US equals J omega L times phasor IL minus J times 1 over omega C times phasor IC. By applying KVL to this loop again, we get that minus J times 1 over omega C times phasor IC equals R times phasor IR. These three equations are linear algebraic equations with complex coefficients of phasor IC, IL, and IR. All the techniques and the methods we've discussed before can be used to solve the circuit. Thus, uh, the SSS of dynamic circuits with a sign excitation has been transformed into the listing and solving of algebraic e equations with complex coefficients. That is the end of this lecture.